Hello everyone, I am Nishat Kothari from TME team and I will be walking you through the new upcoming features for Prisma Access Insights. Today in this demo video, I am going to cover the following topics. Let's jump right into it. In front of you is the summary page for Prisma Access Insights. Today with time range filters, a user can only select the predefined values and not be able to drill down into a specific time range. With the latest update for Prisma Access Insights, users can now choose a specific time range outside of the predefined values, and this will help with better view for an event occurrence. And as you can see, you can select a specific time, could be either a minute, an hour, or a day of data, depending on your choice. We will now look into SPN node utilization. With aggregate bandwidth consumption chart, you can check the average and the peak bandwidth across all the sites. There is no way to understand the bandwidth consumption on a per site level. With this new feature, users will now be able to check the per site level bandwidth consumption for a compute location for a particular time range. This can help make better decisions to either redirect traffic or allocate required bandwidth to a particular site. And as you hover over the chart uh, or the histogram that you see, you can read the bandwidth consumption or the total bandwidth consumption across the site for a particular time period. Up next is Prisma Access Location for Service Connection. Similar to the networks and mobile users, we now have the ability to look into the Prisma Access Location status for service connections. The graph shows the top five locations based on the total bandwidth consumed. And the list below shows all the onboarded service connection location and the status for each of those locations. We will now talk about localization. Users today cannot interact with Prisma Access Insights in their own language, which can lead to challenges like errors in configuration, misunderstanding of a feature or poor user experience. With the latest update for Insights, users will now have the ability to interact with the product in their preferred language. Today, the supported languages are French, German, and Japanese. Let me walk you through the demo for localization. By changing the preferred language for the browser, you will be able to interact with Insights uh, in your preferred language. So as you can see, I'm setting my language or the preferred language as French. And by coming onto my Insights page and refreshing it, I should now be able to see Insights in French. Let us now talk about explicit proxy. Large enterprises today have their networks designed around explicit proxy for a number of reasons. Such users or customers do not have the ability to proactively monitor service infrastructure for users that connect to Prisma Access environment via explicit proxy. With the latest update to Insights, customers will now be able to view the trend of connectivity for explicit proxy users and logins. You will also be able to monitor the infrastructure for users connecting via explicit proxy. As you can see on the page, we have a new filter called connect method where I can select or toggle between explicit proxy and global protect. Currently with selected with both the methods selected, I can see my data populated for both explicit proxy and global protect connect method. By toggling between explicit proxy and global protect, I will be able to see the respective data for the filter selected. Within the map view, I will be able to see the real-time data for my explicit proxy locations. Clicking on one of the locations, it will take me to the Prisma Access Locations tab, where I will be able to see my details related to that particular Prisma Access location for explicit proxy. Since my connect method selected under the summary tab was explicit proxy. Removing the location filter, I should now be able to see all, my, all of my explicit proxy locations and also be able to see 
the status for each of these locations. Going to mobile users tab, based on my filter selected, I should be able to see the current connected users, my mobile user license consumption for explicit proxy. And as I scroll down below, you will be able to see the top, top five most active Prisma access locations for mobile users. Getting into the map view, I will be able to see all of my Prisma access locations for explicit proxy. And I can filter based on the time range. And again, I can toggle between global protect and explicit proxy here as well. Clicking onto one of the locations, I should be able to see the flight path for the users connected from various locations via explicit proxy. And hovering onto one of the flight flight paths, you can see the username connecting a particular Prisma access location for explicit proxy. Within mobile user list, depending on the connect method selected, you should be able to see the unique mobile users connected and the user location and the last Prisma access location that they were connected to and the respective um, browsers that they were using and the connect method. Selecting global protect and explicit proxy both, I should be able to see my unique mobile user connections and the data combined for global protect and explicit proxy both. If a user is connected via explicit proxy and global protect both, we should be able to see two different entries for the same user, kind of once connected via explicit proxy and once connected via global protect. This concludes our demo video. Thank you for your time.